Well folks, uh, today is February 27th, it's Friday, and we had a, a cold front move in that has left us, well still leaving us some snow. So far we have about, well I would say about two inches based on my footsteps of snow. And uh, the whole backyard is covered in snow. All the raised beds are covered in snow too. So let's take a little tour before I go inside because I am freezing out here. So here we have the the bed with the onions. They're there. They're all good. Nothing happens to onions. And uh, moving back, I'm going to open the door here into the garden. And here we have the Swiss chard and some kale, more kale. It's all covered in snow. And it's gonna go towards the end. And here we have. The potatoes, they're all covered in snow. Good thing none of these have sprouted, so they should be okay, I think. But they're still on the ground and none of them have sprouted, so it's all good. Here we have the, the bed with some lettuces that most of them went to seed. Last time they looked like they were all frozen, but they came back. None of them are wilted, as you can see. Uh, garden greens are real hardy, extremely hardy. I mean, last time we had about 24 degrees overnight, 22 degrees overnight with sleet rain it was nasty this is just snow but last last weekend we had sleet and rain and it was i mean the the, the plants were covered in ice and that didn't burn them up so this tells me that uh you know i planted this around november of last year and it's been producing the whole winter now we haven't had we haven't had that bad of a winter but still we've had some really good uh, good freezes into the tw low 20s so that tells me that i should plant this next year again because well, it produces, produces a lot in a time of the year when most gardens are not producing anything. Um, I'm going to go around the keyhole garden here. And there's uh, the Swiss chard doing just fine. It suffered a little, little damage. Maybe you can see this here if I zoom in. There's a little damage from last, last uh, Sunday's uh, freeze and sleet that it had, but nothing major. I think uh, it'll be okay. Uh, Swiss chart is really, really hardy. Uh, it can very well endure into the low 20s without any problems. And moving on, I'm gonna look at the compost heap. Here it is. I just came out a while ago and stuck my hand in here and it was still hot, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, I don't wanna stick my hand in there because then I'll get all dirty and I can't turn off the camera, but you see right there you see that uh, that little spot there where I stuck my hand a while ago and it was uh, pretty hot inside so uh, something's cooking in there <laughs> to say the least and it just has some leaves and some grass clippings and weeds that I put in there and it's cooking away just fine this all the snow is gonna sink into the compost heap and it's gonna get it moist and I'll probably turn it over the weekend if the snow goes away which I doubt and then uh, I'll add more greens and more leaves to it when I get more but it's all good. So here's a here's a fun look at the garden. It looks beautiful. Uh, well, we had we have not had snow this year, so probably the kids are gonna go out tomorrow and build a snowman or something. It's just nice. Well, folks, thanks thanks for watching and uh, stay warm. Good night.